This is the zookeeper, and today we are going to feed a copperhead, Abraham. Abraham the copperhead is named after the copper penny, after Abraham Lincoln, whose face is on the copper penny. So, I know he's hungry, and I got him a special little friend. And we are going to put this little mouse in here, because Abraham's hungry and he likes little mice. Because he's not quite big enough to eat a rat, unless it was a very small baby rat. And I don't have any very small baby rats right now. All my rats would be too big for him. There we go. Alright. Now my shadow is going to be all in the way, but we're going to see what happens. Yeah, now he got him good. Now the venom from a copperhead works very quickly very quickly on these little mice so I don't think he's gonna be it's not gonna take long and for some reason the venom of a copperhead is is one of the most mild on humans humans if they get bit by a copperhead they're gonna be okay the people unless you got serious health conditions to start with uh, you're not gonna be you're not gonna die from a copperhead and you probably won't lose a finger you probably won't have any of that serious super serious stuff it's just gonna hurt really bad you're gonna swell up and you're gonna hurt really bad and it's good for a while and then uh, you'll get over it unlike that little mouse the mouse won't get over it let's see if we can zoom in and get my shadow out of the way let him get over there and eat that thing without my shadow Now this is a broad banded copperhead. There's uh, the eastern copperhead and the uh, northern copperhead and, and the brand, uh, broad banded copperhead. And they all three look similar, but they're definitely different. And uh, I like, obviously, the broad banded I think are the, the prettiest of the three. And some people say four different species, but I can't remember what they are. But this is a broad banded. And when I first got him, he was a little bit shy. He didn't like to eat in front of me. And when he hits those mice just right, they die within 30 seconds. So I'm not sure where he struck that mouse but he lasted a little longer than 30 seconds. So I don't know exactly where he bit him. And now, Abraham is gonna go on the hunt. He knows he struck it, and he smells it. Now he's gonna follow the scent. That little mouse ran all over that enclosure. Now when I first got him, he was oh, maybe a year old. I usually like to get the youngest babies possible, but uh, I found him close to by where I live, and uh, Best Exotics is where I got him. I think it's called Best Exotics LLC, and they got some really cool critters. Uh, Y'all need to go check them out. But he had a one-year-old, so he was about one year old when I first got him. And so he's grown a little bit, but copperheads don't get much more than three foot long. So he, he he's about half grown. So I'm going to kind of help him out. I'm going to move this mouse a little closer to where he can find it. There we go. Come on, get it, Abe. Don't go the wrong direction, man. You're so close. There you go. Come on. There you smell it. You got that? Oh, you are so close, dude. So close, and yet so far. Now, he's within an inch of that little mouse. If he don't notice it at this point, something is seriously wrong. 
but he notices it. There we go. All right, Abe. Good job, dude. There you go. All right, that's what we're looking for. Let me see if I can move this a little bit better. We can get a little better shot at it. He's going to be moving a little bit because I'm holding it now. But it's a better angle. And the lighting is, yeah, it's okay. It's not going to show off his colors as better, as, as well as I'd like, but he sure is a pretty boy. Now, I don't know. Maybe one day. I'm not sure if I will or not, but I haven't decided on whether I wanted to breed copperheads or not. So at this point, I just have this one male. Well, I'm not glad that he went in that cave to eat. So we may cut this short if he goes keeps going. You can hear my little bird. He don't like it. I'm in the other room. He's, Toby, he's a little spoiled. He likes to hang out. So that's the one that's squeaking in the back. You can probably hear other birds, but they're not doing it because they're calling for me. There you go, Abe. Come on out, Bubba. Come on out, Bubba. See if I can zoom in without bothering him. Get a close up of his head. That's better. Since this is kind of a, there's a lot of movement, not real close to this enclosure, but around it close enough to where he knows there's things going on out here. He has come a long way since I first got him because he was a little bit paranoid when I first got him. He was uncomfortable and he would hide a lot. And when I went to feed him, he was too paranoid to eat. But now he has no problem. Matter of fact, now when he sees me coming over and messing with the cage, he comes out looking because he knows it's a, maybe I've got something to give him. And even though I bought, I bought him, these broad-banded copperheads are indigenous to this part of Texas. Way northeast Texas is where I'm at. And that's where they're from so I could if I went out herping I could go out and find one of these out in the wild I thought about it I've gone out a couple times I never did I didn't find one though but I didn't go out for long and I didn't try very hard up oh, see that light 
Now I'm disturbing him. My lighting isn't a good. What can I say? He's up high and it's hard for me to get my the, what I've got my light attached to doesn't go that high. So I've kind of got it partially reflecting off the ceiling. But now it's reflecting off his face and washing him out a little bit. Alright, you all make sure. If y'all want to keep up with, you know, I have, uh, I have several species of snakes. About half of them are venomous and the other half are not venomous. So it's a variety and they're all, most of them, except for him, I think this was the, well, about the oldest snake I've ever bought. Everything else I get is newborns, little babies. And uh, so it's interesting, if you keep up, you can watch them grow up. And that's always cool. And when I first got him, he wasn't wanting to eat. It was it was a little more difficult to get him to eat. And then he didn't like rats. And now he likes both. It's easy to get him to eat. And here I am disturbing him again. And he eats rats. Little bitty rats. But he does eat rats. But the thing is, when you feed little pinkies, especially when they're alive, it's a little bit more uh, disturbing, I think, and not as interesting of a video as it is when you feed adults or something that's already, you know, out on its own, eating for itself. So I don't really like to publish too many videos of them eating pinkies. Yeah, he sees me every time I move up to move the camera. What a pretty snake. What a pretty snake. He's gonna give us a little shot of him anyway. We get a little a little bit of look at the rest of him. Glad he didn't stay in the cave. And I keep bothering him every time I move over here. But I think we're just about through with him anyway. Here we go. Now that's a good shot. That's a good looking snake. He's a good boy. He's doing so good. You see them broad, broad stripes on him and not a lot of freckling. He's got some pretty smooth and clean colors up and down him without the splotches or speckles. Like a lot of them have a lot more speckling on them. And I like him because he's good and clean. Got a clean look to him. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all go. Love y'all. Bye.